with you guys. Hey. Ah, it's Alexa. I'm so excited to be back in LA filming with Alexa. We're doing another come thrifting with us video today, but today's video is going to be a little different. We are going to a store. <laughs> Yikes. We're going to a store in West Hollywood called Jet Rag, and I have been hearing about this $1 sale that they have on Sundays. So we are specifically coming here today to check out this sale. And basically the, the gist of it is, it's like a normal vintage shop but on Sundays, they take all of their clothes or whatever it is that they don't sell and they throw it in the parking lot on the floor. And apparently you go through it and you, you find it and everything is a dollar. It's all cash only. We don't know if we're allowed to film. We don't know what's going on. We just drove by and saw people like rummaging through the parking lot. So we're gonna check it out and hopefully it won't be as insane as we think. We're both like open to yeah. finding whatever. We're down to like try new styles or new things and everything is a dollar. So hopefully we'll like score some really good stuff. We'll show you a haul at the end of this. But yeah, super excited to be here with Alexa. She's also doing a video for this on her channel. So make sure you subscribe down below. Check out the video that she did. She's everything. You guys will love her. If Somehow you haven't heard of her. You definitely need hey. to go subscribe. Hey, hi. hi. <laughs> so we're gonna go check out this sale and see what it has to offer. So let's go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> That's so LA. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, we're doing it. Okay, here we have it guys. Let's do this thing. <laughs> So right outside here they have these like bales of clothes and people are just sitting on them and I'm very confused as to what this means. Like are they waiting for them to be opened? Are they waiting to go inside the store? The store is open. I'm very confused. I'm not hip to this like event. <laughs> I need details. Wait guys, it's happening. Hold on. He just yelled at everyone to stand okay, up. He just yelled at everyone to stand up and Carrie and I are very interested. We're like, wait, what's happening? what's happening next? <gasps> so clearly that's happened <laughs> like many a time. Good luck everyone. May the odds be ever in your favor. I read a blog post that said they compared this to like the scene in Mean Girls where everyone's in the cafeteria acting like wild animals and maybe we're about to see that. <laughs> we're be excited. Okay, like once you hold the stuff up, it's actually Yeah, not it's bad. not that bad. Yeah. There's more like just plants yeah. in it. So we've got our first little like haul here. You guys got lucky because today is like so relaxed. Yeah, well I've heard like really crazy things yeah, about it's it. Yeah, nuts. It's just running, yeah. like people are like shoving each other. Oh wow. I heard the guy say that if people fought then they have to leave. Does that happen? Oh my gosh, that's savage. What I think we're gonna do is take our little break here and go through our first pile and then buy everything, take it to the car and then come back and get more stuff because that's how insane it is. And our arms are like falling, like we're literally like sore from bending over, lifting stuff with our arms and stuff. But I think we're gonna like go through, do our first little run, and then come back for more. And our first load, it's quite a lot. Then we're coming back for more. Definitely getting a lot busier as well.
and I didn't even find anything else. I think it's just like once you've dug through, you kind of reach like a limit. There's definitely cute stuff, but I think we're good. So we're gonna head to the car and I will show you guys. So we're back in the car and I figured while I've got this giant bag here, I would show you guys a haul of everything I got. Make sure you go and subscribe to Alexa's channel because she's going to be doing a haul when she gets home. Cause she got so much amazing stuff. So this whole entire bag, just so like, as a size reference right here, was $10. We each spent $10, well, I guess uh, you ended yeah. up spending 12. 12. But s still, still, mind blowing. This is all stuff that you could find at like your local Goodwill and Savers, but like the good stuff that yeah. you would find at your local Goodwill and, like, and Savers. Every single thing would, like a jacket, they're always like $9. Yes. And then a sweatshirt is like at least $7. Maybe you'll find a shirt for like $5, but mm -hmm. like, that's, it's literally like doubling. So, so, so good. So overall, I would honestly give it like 10 out of 10. Yeah, if 100%. you were in the area or you like live in the Southern California area and you want to like take a day trip and go check it out, definitely go earlier. Like the earlier, yeah. the better. Now we know they open at nine. So it's probably <laughs> a good idea to go at nine. But there were, as you guys probably saw, like a couple instances where they were talking about like people fighting. There was a girl saying that there are like bullies who come every week mm -hmm. and like push people out of the way. And like, that's insane. I kind of wish we had that for like I footage know. reasons. <laughs> I'm gonna show you just quickly what I got here. So the first thing, I'll just start right from the top. Alexa actually found this and she knows that I like red and she doesn't really like red. As I'm wearing so, something red. Well, I know, I mean, it's, I have, it's a complicated relationship. You like it, but you don't. Yo. Exactly. I happen to like red and I found this sweatshirt. This was actually the first thing I think we found. Yeah. It says Kansas City area in the heart of America. Absolutely. I don't know what AFS is. Hopefully it's nothing like bad and homophobic and weird. We also found these shorts that are like wet from the concrete. So <laughs> I think they're really cute. I think that they could be like turned into something really cute. Just as like a little bit of a disclaimer, if I don't find that any of these like fit me well or if I don't like them, I will be posting them on my Poshmark so make sure you follow me and Alexa on Poshmark I'll link them down below because every time we thrift and like something doesn't end up working out or it doesn't fit we always list that stuff yeah. on Poshmark. And the thing yeah. is they don't have any dressing rooms so like we literally have no idea if this stuff even like We were fits. just like holding yeah. it up like <laughs> so yeah, be on the lookout for that because I'm sure a lot of this stuff will be on there as well. Some of this stuff I actually just grabbed and was like, I'm just gonna sell it on Poshmark. Next thing I'm very excited about is a, like there's like definitely a ton of really good, yeah, old man sweaters. And this one has deer on it. It's so cute. I think this is so cute. I feel like Drew's gonna try to steal this from me, but it's mine, bitch. But it's really cute. It's very wintry. We still have a couple months of winter left yeah. in the areas where we live. We can get away with it for a little longer. And air conditioning. <laughs> Maybe can't wear it outside, yeah. but like indoors, totally fine. Next thing, what is this? It's a cardigan. I don't remember grabbing this, but I did, apparently. It's um like not my favorite. I don't love wool. It's not the softest thing, but this is a really cute sweater. So maybe if I wore something long sleeve under it. Yeah, I like the colors. Yeah, I love these like old man looking sweaters. I am a freaking sucker for those. Next, we have another sweater. I think this is so cute. This is like 80s mom. I look like my name is like Denise or something. <laughs> no offense if your name is Denise. I think this is really cute and I love this like mock neck. I think it would probably fit. I was like unable to tell by holding it up. It is a lady size large, so hopefully it'll be okay. I don't know, there are a lot of stuff that was like, oh, it's a large and it did. It was children's. Yeah, we were like, what the heck? The next thing I'm really excited about, I was pointing out to Alexa, I saw a couple of YouTubers. One in particular is Sarah Hawkinson and she was putting together outfits with like a band tee and some cute jeans and like some booties or like loafers or mules or whatever. And then like a blazer on top. And I never liked blazers. Yeah. I did not think they were cute, but hers looked so cute. I was like, okay, I have to try it. So this one I just got cause it was a dollar. There is like a little bit of padding in the shoulders, which I'm weird about, but yeah, maybe can, I can cut yeah, it out or something. You can always cut them out. So. I got this little guy, which I think would be really cute. Like I said, like band tee, even like just what I have on right now, just throwing this on instead. Soup's cute, so happy about that. This next one I solely got just to like give to one of you guys because it's a Calvin Klein jacket. Like what the heck, freaking Calvin Klein. So yeah, this is a size 12 and it's like this long kind of like blazer coat type of thing. And it's a really pretty color too. And yeah. the buttons are pretty and it's like, there's nothing it's wrong good, with it. Yeah, there's no holes. Good shape, yeah. Too. Calvin Klein for a dollar. Yes, please. This next thing, um, I don't know what it is. I think you tie it around your neck like this. And like with my look that's going on today, like this would be perfect. I think it's like a little bandana, Yeah. but I think this would be so cute. I love like this kind of like fake suede material. I love the like rhinestones. It's 
very like Arizona in the 80s. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, you guys. I bought it because it was a dollar. I'm probably gonna wear it in an Instagram picture and then like <laughs> give it to Goodwill, but it's cute. Next, oh, we're down to the bottom. Next, I have another red crew neck sweatshirt. This one's my favorite. Sneak peek for our next video. 1994, baby, yes. Oh, no. That's my favorite era, like the mid 90s for sweatshirts. Worn. That makes me wanna die. <laughs> I was six. Good, good times. This is like just a cute, comfy. I live for like thrifted crew neck sweatshirts. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I live in yep. thrifted crew neck sweatshirts. So this is what I wear the majority of the time. And this is definitely like my favorite find of the day. Super stoked. And then for the very last item down here, we have a what is this? I don't even know what it says. I, really I saw like some girl hold it up and then she put it back down and I was like, Alexa, will you grab me that? It says Augustana College, Sasquatch Centennial 2010. Happy 150th, Augie. I don't know. I just like the sleeves and okay, I like Augie. the colors. <laughs> you go, Augie. I think this would be cute, like tied up with a little like maxi skirt, like a floral maxi skirt, or like some jeans, or even like in the summer tucked into some high waisted shorts. I just think this would be really cute. And it is a small, I believe. Yeah, it's an adult small, but I think it'll be okay like if I tuck it into stuff. Yeah. So that's my haul. That's what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys loved seeing Alexa on my channel. If you liked this video, stay tuned because we have another one coming. I mean, for you guys very soon. For us, yeah. it's like like immediately after yeah. this. <laughs> Check out the video she did, her Poshmark, everything's gonna be listed below. I love you guys so much and we will see you very soon.